How to remove the government logo or custom logo from the boot screen and change it to the default by using command prompt. Step 1, turn off BitLocker. Open the Windows search box and type Manage BitLocker. I have already turned off BitLocker, and if yours is also turned off, then you are good to go. But if not, then click on Turn Off BitLocker. It will take a long time, and you can't cancel decryption once it starts. Step 2. Connect your laptop with its charger. Losing power in the middle of a BIOS update would brick your motherboard. So make sure the power cable is plugged into a reliable power source. Step 3. Download the latest version of BIOS. To do that, open your browser and search for dell.com slash support. It will automatically detect your system. If auto detect doesn't work, then enter your service tag or download support assist and try again. Now, click on your device name. Next, click on Drivers and Downloads. Click on Manually Find Drivers and Downloads. Scroll down and click on the System BIOS. You can also select BIOS from the Category section. Next, click on Download. After that, go to the location where you downloaded the update and copy the address of the update. To copy the address of the update, Simply press shift and right click on the update and click on copy as path. Open the search box and type CMD. Press right click on it and click on run as administrator. Now just paste the copied path. To do that, press Ctrl and V together. Here you have to type slash Dell logo at the end of the command. The first letter of Dell and the logo should be in capital letters, otherwise the command will not work, so type the exact same letters as I show you. After that, press the Enter key and wait. Here, you can clearly see the current version and the newer version. Mine are both the same, because I have already updated the BIOS and never try to update your BIOS to an older version. There is no problem with updating your BIOS to the current version, but it's not recommended. Click Restart. Wait. You can still see the government logo is still here because your system has not been updated yet. You need to restart your laptop after the update. I have already updated the BIOS. That's why I have the Dell logo instead of the government logo. It will take a few minutes, and after that, simply log in and restart your system. Now the government logo is gone.